Hey everyone, it's me, Raychu, back with another video. This week's video is inspired by a game called Gotcha Life. If you haven't heard of it before, it's a game where you can make your own chibi characters and play little mini games. Today, I'll be making some of my own characters and illustrating them in Procreate. I made a character on my friend's iPad a long time ago, and I love his character design and backstory, and I wanted to draw him. So let me introduce him to you. His name is Kiyotaka. He is fun-loving, caring, and always looking for adventure, which tends to get him into trouble. <laughs> when he was very young, he wandered away from his village and climbed up to the mountains, where a kindly monk found him lost and took him in. Kiyotaka was raised by this monk, and he treated him as his own father. The monk taught him to be respectful to his elders and to take his responsibilities seriously, but Kiyotaka was always forgetting his duties and longed for adventure far away from the monastery. After much deliberation, the monks agreed that there was no stopping Kiyotaka from leaving, so they gave him two katanas for protection and told him to wait until he was 18 before he set off on his great adventure. In the meantime, he would practice using his katanas on his free time, and he would not shirk his duties anymore. Kiyotaka was overjoyed at the gift, and the next free moment he had, he went into the forest to practice using them. Before much time had passed, he heard a high-pitched cry. He held up his katanas, ready to strike if something evil was trying to trick him. But when he looked down, he only saw a small yellow bird, very young and defenseless. As Kiyotaka kneeled down to examine the crying chick, he saw an injury on the wing. It wasn't too deep, thank goodness, but the bird shrieked whenever the wing was provoked. Kiyotaka looked around for a nest, and sure enough, nestled between two branches were the scattered remains of the little bird's home. He gently scooped up the little bird and took him back to the monastery to nurse him back to health. The two became good friends, and once the bird's wing was healed, Kiyotaka taught him tricks and often asked for treats to give his little bird. It would be good to have a friend when he would leave the monastery in a few years. And that's Kiyotaka's backstory. It isn't perfected and certainly isn't finished, but those are the basics. And now to tell a bit about his illustration. I wanted it to stay true to the Gotcha Life version, so I matched all the colors using the color drop tool, and kept the same eye and hair shape. I did make a few tweaks from the original. He has thicker eyebrows in the illustration, and a few of the colors were too bright for my liking, so I toned down his robes and scarf. I also changed up the bird character quite a bit. Instead of the rounded, cutesy look of the original, I went with a style more like my own. Although the round birdo was cute, it didn't really go the vibe I wanted. I'm not sure if you can tell what his pose is, but Kiyotaka's actually trying to pet the bird on the head. This is the part where he finds the bird and decides to take him home. I hope the drawing gets the point across, but I do feel like the execution could have been better. That's pretty much all I have to say about this character, so I guess I'll meet you at the end of the time lapse. See you there!
Welcome back from the time lapse. I hope you enjoyed it. The next and last character in this video is one that I had some trouble designing. Like I said, I already had Kiyotaka's design done on my friend's iPad, so I just had to copy the picture I took of it. But I really didn't know what to do for this next character. I started with a fiery color scheme and worked my way from there. After tweaking her clothes, I settled on a duo color hoodie with pink and gray. I really like this combo, so I made her hair pink to match. Once I put on our headphones, her character finally started to click. I made her trendy and popular with a good understanding of computers and coding. After a while, I started to figure out her personality. Her name is Kamiko, which means greatest child in Japanese. This suits her well because she is very full of herself. It's not like she rubs it in your face or anything, she's just oblivious to the fact that she acts like that. Other than that, she's very optimistic and cheerful. She has a gaming channel on my tube called Rose Gold Plays, where she plays all the trendiest games, including Yourscraft, Two Weeks, and Creature Intersection. Kamiko is very proud of her subscriber count and is always showing it off to her friends. Her goal in life is to post videos that make people happy and therefore make the world a happier, better place to be. She also likes to vlog and take pictures of her daily life, much to the chagrin of her cat Pod. He's a bit on the older side and would prefer to be left alone to sleep. But Kamiko is completely oblivious to this fact and likes to put little hats on him and post lots of pictures onto her social media accounts. Kamiko is 17 and still lives with her family. Her little brother Jack is the bane of her existence, or so she says. One of his favorite hobbies is to prank his sister and make fart noises while Kamiko is live streaming. Despite all this drama, they do like spending time with each other by watching movies. Although they get on each other's nerves, they still love each other. I don't have an actual storyline for Kamiko, but there's a bit of her life and personality at any rate. Anywho, on to the illustration. Like with Kiyotaka, I kept true to the gacha lifestyle for her eyes and hair. I don't think the eyes turned out well, though. They're kinda creepy. Other than the eyes, I really like this drawing. For the backgrounds of both illustrations, I used some backgrounds from the Gotcha Life game. They come with the game automatically, so I just made screenshots of the ones I wanted to use and put them behind my characters. And there you have it, folks. Thank you so much for watching. I put a lot of effort into this video. Subscribe if you're new here, and be sure to check out my Redbubble shop. I'll see you on the next video. Bye!